Hello everybody, this is Matthew Kenslow and this video is for those who have been following and are interested in my journey of becoming a teacher. I just took the CBEST today, the California Standardized Exam, uh, which is the like the preliminary step and then I have at least two CSETs to take and then enroll in a master's program and credentials program at Vanguard University, which would take about two years and then I'd be a, a teacher. And then at the end of next semester, I'll, I'll have a bachelor's degree in biochemistry. I've heard that if you have a bachelor's, you could substitute. Um, and I'm just excited for this journey uh, going forward. I have like one more final tomorrow of this semester, and then I'm done with my penultimate semester before bachelor's. And I'm uh, just very excited. I arrived in Huntington Beach uh, just before 11 a.m., got in. They had a uh, thermometer uh, ready and so after I passed that I went in signed a few things took pictures roll up the sleeves do this and all that I put uh, the few stuff that I had in a locker uh, put the key in my pocket went in the test room uh, she logged me in and everything I sat down and for four hours straight non-stop I was taking the reading which took a couple of hours <laughs> uh, the math and the um, the writing part. The math I was very excited for, very happy for, very, you know, I love math. I'll, I'll end it right there. Or I'll say this, my goal is to be a middle school math and science teacher. If you're watching uh, me for the first time, uh, that's my goal. I say, say that in my book as well. I, I hope to teach at Ensign Intermediate School where I went to, uh, but we'll see in a couple of years where, where I'm at in, in that, if it's going to be that school or, or anywhere else, it, it, it all depends. Uh, from my unofficial test results, I, well, according to the unofficial test results, I passed both the reading and the math, um, and then the writing is still pending. I had to write two essays. One of the prompts was to write about like a, a, an issue, and then another one was more personal. So um, I, I did so. Um, I like writing, barely had time to proofread the second essay that I written. Um, as much as the first one because right then I ran out of time but you know I I, I don't know I'm just um, feeling accomplished that I'm personally along with a lot of other people are proving that if you have autism you cannot let it you know beat you down or, or tear you down you could do what you set your mind to do I typically have extra time on quizzes and tests but I chose not to do it this time don't ask me why it's a long story um, and I just thought listen I'm Matthew you're going to to go in front of the computer, you're going to focus, you're going to concentrate, you could do this, and in the end you'll be able to prove that if if that you if you could do it, then anyone could do it. And then in fact that's why I'm uh, telling you right now, like if I could do that then then you can too. And and I do admit, like, even when I first walked in the door, I was just, you know, I know I have four hours and it's like, is that enough time? Well, Apparently it, it wasn't, but at the same time I finished on time um, and, and such, where I was satisfied. But, but still, I kind of went back to eighth grade when I told myself I'm going to pay attention to what the teacher says, just, you know, just focus and such, and, and I did. And um, I'm just excited to find out what my other results are for the writing, um, send that to Vanguard University. I uh, have a interview with him and another coordinator um, on what to do next. Uh, I guess the interview for the master's program. In fact, I um, when I had the meeting with him, all my electronic notes kind of bit disappeared afterwards. So I just am going based on my memory. But basically, I just not sure what's first if it's the master's in arts and education or the credentials. I think it's the master's program. I'm. Well, I'll, I'll find out, and then I could update you if you are curious uh, to know. So um, thank you, uh, those of you who have been supporting me um, in this with, you know, good encouragement and, and good words and, and love and prayers. And um, I, I just want you to know that uh, you are appreciated as much as I also want you to know that you have purpose and value in your life. So wherever you're at, stay strong. Have an excellent day.